Hey guys, I'm here with another video today and today I have my Louis Vuitton Eva clutch in Damier 18 pattern. So I just wanted to do a review for everybody here, uh, just in case you're in the market for a mini bag since they are really uh, on trend right now. This bag in particular is discontinued, uh, but they are in the pre-loved uh, markets. So if you are interested and if you're comparing to any bags that are out there right now, there's the new Easy Pouch on Strap right now, and that's uh, newly launched in the Epi leather. So if you're comparing which ones to get, uh, but this one I would say is most similarly to the Pochette Accessoire, which they still sell. Um, and yeah, if you just want to compare, I will show you the uh, wear and tear over the last 11 to 12 years. And it has been worn not so much now in the last few years, uh, but when I first got it, I did go out to like nightclubs a lot and I would always have this bag and I would never have to worry about it. And it's pretty uh, in good condition as you will see. So I bought this at the time for about uh, 500 something in Canadian and it came up to about just over $600. So now it, you'll see it up to even like $1,500. But if you get lucky and if you see one in a really good condition, I would grab it if you love this purse. Uh, and this one, as you know, comes in the monogram as well with a smaller plate, but this one has the bigger plate and I'll also show you the wear of the plate. Okay, so let's get started. If you do have any questions, comment below and I will answer all of them. Okay, so let's get started. Hi. Okay, so as you can see here, the plate at the front is pretty significant, especially compared to the monogram in uh, the same Eva clutch, which is maybe like one sixth of the size. Uh, so this has a lot of material for it to scratch, but as you can see, there's just, you know, some hairline scratches, but it's really not noticeable. You know, it just looks like a big plate, right? And here, so you can see on the sides here and also along the middle, uh, it looks like it's been buffed away. So that there, it doesn't have the same finish on the bottom and the top. So I don't really know what happened. Uh, I might have possibly used maybe something more rough to wipe it down one time in those specific areas. So uh, if you do have this bag ready or is planning to get it, just make sure you're not too rough along the plaque here because it does look like uh, it's been buffed away and maybe that's just from me and not a regular wear and tear. Uh, but out of the other than that, the plaque uh, is just, you know, some fine lines all over the place, but that is not noticeable at all. And here, I'm just going to go over along the zipper. So this also has a crossbody strap, which is in the bag right now, and we'll take it out afterwards. So here you can see the zipper has darkened. So the goal 
gold has faded away and worn away, but that's also not noticeable. So here, the gold hardware has chipped away a little bit. And you can see that along the beginning of the tab and the back here as well. So something like this would be easy to replace if you were looking at a pre-loved piece and it was really worn and you were maybe on the fence about it because of the tab. And let's go along here now. So this one side is detachable, uh, but not on the other side. So just if you were thinking of removing it, if you came across one that um, had a lot of wear in it. But for my purse, and for someone who used this bag a lot, a lot, a lot, uh, this part of the chain is, it's really impeccable. Like there's like no obvious wear. So this part looks brand new. There's no darkened spots. I apologize for my super dry hands. Lots of sanitizing these days. And surprisingly, along here is also pretty good. Where it would rub the other, the D-link here. It doesn't have any issues. Uh, but it could if somebody was wearing this bag as a shoulder bag a lot for me. I've been using it as a crossbody for the most part. So we'll take a look at um, how the wearing of the links on the crossbody strap is, which I hadn't really taken a look at. Uh, but when you're looking for pre-left, so make sure you look at all the pictures and uh, see if the piping is still intact. Uh, but I would say for the most part, it would be here along the pleated part as well. You would want to make sure that all the stitching is not torn. I think that's pretty important when it comes to uh, getting something pre-loved because once one stitch is out, you know, over time, you will see that it's going to tear along that area even more. So I say that's number one key thing to look for. So here, my purse, no is issues with the stitching all along. And here, the other side of the zipper, Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. And this part is treated leather. This side looks like there's been a little bit of wear. And also, I've seen a, a purse on the pre-loved market where there was a crack in the canvas right along here and here. So you wanna make sure that when you're looking at the pictures, make sure you get a good uh, picture of this area right here. Because also once there's a crack in the canvas, I would say, it's going to go further along if you end up using it more often. So here is still intact perfectly. Okay, so 
and that's that the canvas is like a hundred percent perfect there's no issues with it this purse doesn't sit upright so it's usually just hanging like this or just on like a chair like that but there's no issues with the canvas the zipper is super smooth and yeah inside is really clean Wow, I'm like, honestly, I'm pretty surprised myself. There in the crevices, there's some dirt that just accumulated, kind of like dust particles. Stitching, you can also look for in here to see if it's intact. Okay, so let's take a look at the strap. This one I bought as a replacement because I did lose my strap, but it was within uh, just like a few months of having it. So this strap is also about 11 to 12 years old. So we'll just take a look at the links first. And underneath in the inside, and yeah, they there's a little bit of wear. There you go, as you can see there, which is f normal wear. And then along the strap, also no issues. So sometimes there could be some wear in the stitching as well for the crossbody. So I would ask for those pictures as well. Uh, but here, as you can see, it held up pretty well. So, you know, this is just a video so you guys can also compare that uh, you can get a purse in pretty good condition, even though it's been worn a lot. Okay guys, so if you have any questions about this purse and the wear and tear or any other questions, let me know in the comments below. And that's it for now, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye, thanks for watching.